Now, um, it is fair to say that this report published by the UN has used the strongest language yet to say that humans are causing climate change, saying that, I quote, that it is unequivocal that human influence has warmed the atmosphere, ocean, and land. Now, in previous reports published by the IPCC, the UN body said that it was extremely likely that human humans and human activity were to blame. Now, in this report, we've seen a major shift in the language. We've gone from there's a certain degree of uncertainty to there's no way around it. We are creating the climate crisis. Now, uh, another crucial point, uh, and the report warns that the world will experience unprecedented uh, catastrophic uh, weather conditions, even if, and that's the important point, even if humanity manages to cap global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius, keeping in mind that the world has already warmed by one degree Celsius and that under the Paris Agreement, countries agreed to limit global warming to two degrees Celsius, ideally 1.5 degrees Celsius. Well, now the IPCC is saying even with this more ambitious, more ideal scenario, things are looking pretty uh, bleak. Now, the reason being, uh, and this is another highlight of the report, is that global warming is on track to hit 1.5 degrees of warming by 2030. That's a decade before uh, what was initially projected. So, you know, you see how this is all accelerating very quickly. Uh, there's a lot to unpack here, of course, but keep in mind that this is the first part of the report that is focusing on the science behind global warming. We're going to see the second part of the report and the third part of the report that will, that will deal with the, uh, the consequences and the solutions. So, so hopefully we will see a bit of a glimmer of hope in that third part of the report set to be released later in 2022. We've certainly been seeing a lot of extreme weather events in recent days. Just as you're speaking, we're seeing these images of fires. There's been flooding. And there is an entire chapter in this report that's dedicated to extreme weather events. What does it say exactly? Right. right. And like you said, you know, you need to just look around you to see the fires, deadly fires in the Mediterranean. We've seen uh, recent deadly floods in Europe, extreme weather, extreme heat in the Northern Hemisphere. And so this report provides confirmation that extreme weather events are becoming more common. This is the question that we're constantly asking ourselves, is climate change responsible for all these events that we're seeing? Well, in this report, as you say, what's interesting is that there's going to be a new chapter. This is a major development for the IPCC, looking at the link between uh, extreme weather events and rising temperatures. Now, there's a, sp a special field of science called attribution science that looks at this. Now, in the past, scientists have been pretty reluctant to make a direct link between extreme weather events and and rising temperatures. But now, you know, scientists are saying that, uh, you know, the science has evolved, the climate model models have become more sophisticated, they're more precise, and therefore they are able to uh, conclude with a certain degree of confidence that, you know, these extreme weather events are being caused by rising temperatures. Uh, and one clear example of that is the, uh, the heat, the dome of heat that we saw uh, a few weeks ago in the Northern Hemisphere in North America. Well, now scientists scientists are saying uh, pretty confidently this would not have happened without climate change. Mm. Valerie, thanks for that. Valerie DeKimp there with that uh, clip.